Hello, this is Sean from Urban Tactical Survival. I'm coming to you this morning with a great backpack I received a couple of days ago. It's the uh, McCaw 45 from Vanquist. This is an excellent bomb-proof backpack. Trust me. I've got the description card here. I'm just going to run through the descriptions right quickly because there's a lot to cover and I couldn't remember all of it, so I'm going to read it all to you. It's made in the USA, genuine multi-cam Cordura fabric, genuine 1000D and 500D Cordura with a water repellent Teflon fabric protector from DuPont. High visibility, lightweight, 2D ripstop nylon. That's the very bright orange, very high contrast orange on the inside. Universal Molly and PALS attachment system, durable abrasive resistant YKK RC class zippers, which are the best zippers in the market. Uh, military grade du Duraflex hardware made of high tensile strength polymer. Made in the USA grabbing paracord and user friendly zip loops. Uh, durable stitching, bar, bar tacking, and a box and X stitching on stress points. Seams are tapered and finished with a heavy duty bonded nylon thread. Close cell form padding for shock absorbent and comfort. Neoprene padded grab handles for comfort. Breathable padded mesh shoulder straps and back panels. So this backpack is giving you a lot in one package. Uh, Vanquist has been able to merge two worlds together in one pack. The camping and the tactical world and they've put it all into one in this backpack. This is an outstanding backpack and I'm sure to sure that uh, anybody who's purchasing this backpack will uh, uh, be very pleased with it. Starting out in the front, you have what is called their beaver dam. Okay, you just unlash it right here and drop it down. Right here and down here on the bottom you have a left and right little tabs that you would lock in on this little buckle here for running any type of weapon systems, an AR or AK-47 or any type of rifle or even a, uh, a bow if you so choose to. So anybody a hunters, this backpack is great for hunters as well. So you take your butt and run it, stick it down in here and it will sit here nice and securely and you have a strap up here that would secure the rest of your rifle or your bow to the backpack via the straps right here. You also have another one inside so you can use two if you choose to. Take it from on the inside and bring it on the outside. So that's your beaver dam. Beaver tail application here. Down here on the bottom is a very very generous and deep pocket for a uh, sleeping bag. And since this is water repellent, I would incorporate a waterproof uh, bag uh, that uh, a lot of your high-end backpacks come with. It's a bag that you pull out and it drape it over the entire backpack and it secures the backpack from water, uh, makes it water -reproof, waterproof. So this pocket here is, uh, like I said, it's the high contrast orange for great visibility and getting into and seeing what you need in there. So it's big enough for a sleeping bag in this department. Zip that up there. You got laser stitch molly on the other side of the panel here. So you can flip this around if you choose to, if you wanted to use uh, the laser side and you had molly, anything that you're gonna use a molly clips with, you just take them off these buckles right here flip it over and now your laser laser stitching molly is now on the outside of the backpack you just flip that up take your buckles and hook them together here like so and now you can hook together with your laser molly stitching here anything that has molly clips to it it also has a velcro patch very generous large size velcro patch here for Morel and uh, a Velcro up here for Morel patches. Vanquish is also stitched in their logo, which is pretty cool. I like that up here. So I've uh, added the American flag up there. So uh, just for demonstration purposes, on both sides of the back of the pad, the bag, 
are set up the same way. You have the laser stitch molly on both sides and I've uh, incorporated by way of molly straps the uh, Pathfinder water bottle on the side just for demonstration purposes and that's what it would look like if you'd use that and on both sides you have a very deep and very genuous uh, water bottle pocket that you can secure the bottle onto the backpack via some uh, shock cords all the shock cords in the backpack are, are you can uh, replace them if they do get damaged so uh, replacing these is easy you just unthread the uh, bad ones and thread new ones in there and you're back in business with it so let's uh the top portion of the bag opening it up you just zip down the zippers here and it can now be a top loading backpack and there you see the high visibility orange on the inside so anything once you've loaded this backpack up anything that you have on the top of the backpack you need to get to you don't necessarily have to rip it all down to get to it you just open it up from the top and get enter the bag that way and you can e enter the bag and get whatever it is up on top here these uh, pouches up here are also very deep very deep and you do have a pass-through pouch here that will enable you to enter the bag without zipping this down from the outside, the top portion of the bag. You just uh, zip this open, stick your hand through, and you're in on the inside of the bag. So, zip that back up and close it up. Now let's take down the beaver tail. And what I like about this is now you rip this down and it's clamshell. You can enter the bag clamshell style. So, on the inside is the high, you can see it's a high visible orange. You have very, three genuous deep pockets here for stashing all types of items. It has the uh, ripstop diamond nylon on the inside. Three pockets here to stash things into. The sleeping bag compartment is separate, separated by a uh, floor on the inside of the bag so when you're entering the bag from the top or going in to get your sleeping bag you don't disturb neither one of them in doing so on the inside also has velcro padding on the sides of the backpack so anything that you have uh, velcro to you can attach it via the velcro on the sides you also can do the uh, laser stitch molly and I've showed you here with uh, my first aid kit I'm using the molly straps Unfortunately, the molly straps do not, uh, you can't load it in there up and down. It, you attach them left to right on the molly straps. Uh, here there's a pocket. You just unloosen these straps here and a very generous hole here for a water bladder. It will take a three liter water bladder. So if you're not going to run the water bladder, you can cinch this back up nice and tight. You can also put a nice size laptop in there if you choose to it was fit nice and secured right in there okay and this pocket right here is where you enter the uh internal frame portion is where the internal frame is at so that velcros down here you got the pass through right here for your water bladder the holes goes right through here and runs down the back side of the, the backpack so let's close this up and we'll flip this over and show you the harness system this is a excellent backpack I mean it, it is gives you all types of uh, uh, multiple uh, uses uh, and you can set it up in all configurations I mean it's 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 un it's something that you're A multitude of operations or uh, uh, setups let me flip this back over here and show you the bungee cord side you just take them off this buckles right here it's an easy flip flip it back over 
apply the straps back onto the buckles here flip it back up and there you got your bungee cord side also if you had a large axe or you had hiking poles you weren't using your hiking poles they have these attachments here that secure things onto it by way of a bungee cord just unhook them and a large axe or your hiking poles will sit nest right into the sides here with these attachments you just lock them over pull the bungee cord and lock them in there on the sides they have cinch cords so when you get your load in there you want to cinch and make the pack tighter you have these uh, straps that you pull on the sides it cinches the tightens the load up on your back so let's go and flip this over and show you the harness system okay so this is a very genuous padding the uh, lumbar and uh, waist waist belt has very genuous and very thick very sturdy and uh, strong uh, waist belt this is a I, I can see this riding very very comfortable the padding on the back of it is very thick it's about an inch an inch thick all the way around on the padding the shoulder pads are very thick uh, you have the sternum strap here that you can go up and down on to uh, raise it up on the length and the height of your sternum strap also have uh, incorporated in the buckle survival whistle so that's a good feature also the pass-through on your water bladder the, the holes tubing comes through they have these velcro tabs right here that you lash it onto and secure it to the straps shoulder straps this is an adjustable shoulder strap system you just pull down this tab velcro and you can move it up and down uh, depending on the size of your torso I'm about 5'11 so I've moved it all the way up and it fits me just right rides just the way I need it to ride shoulder straps also have these straps on the top of the strap on the bag that when you get your load on and you need to pull the bag closer to you you grab these straps up here and you just yank them forward and that brings the bag forward closer to you instead of the bag riding away from you it also has that particular system on the on the belt itself too so once you lock in lock the belt on this is a pull forward system so you take the belt and you pull pull forward to cinch the strap the straps down on the waist belt and then you have the straps over here you can pull the bag closer to the belt they have line keepers you can roll up the straps to keep the straps from flapping all over the place they have line keepers on both straps line keepers on the waist belt so you don't have all this line all this strap dangling all over the place okay I mean this is this is an excellent bomb proof bag uh, if Batman was to carry a backpack I think this would be the backpack that he would carry from Vanquish it's the McCoy 45 it comes in three colors this is the coyote tan they have it in uh, um, uh, gray and black so I mean this is this is a bag that will last you a very very long time you know it's uh one that's not going to fall apart on you the 100 the one the one the thousand and the 500 the near nylon uh on the bag uh gives it an, an even uh distrib distribution of weight this bag it comes in i think maybe at a pound and a half unloaded so it's it's very light it's not a it's a very light bag so Anybody in the market for a very good uh, backpack uh, that has tactical features to it, this is the bag for you. The Vanquish uh, McCore 45. So, 
This is Sean from Urban Tactical Survival. Again, check out Vanquish's website. You can find this bag and a whole load of their uh, products on their website. This is one of the bags that dropped this year for a SHOT Show in 2018. So go on their website, check it out. And just to remind you that Vanquish is not paying me to do this review. I'm doing this on my own. This is my bag. I'm doing my own view review on this bag uh, because I think Vanquish deserves the credit that it it gets uh, on the reviews and I'm giving it a good two thumbs up on this bag so if you're looking for a good bag this is try out the McCore 45 I'm Sean from Every Tactical Survival again reminding you to hit like and subscribe down on the bottom share the video with your friends if you have any comments or questions please post them down below and I will get back with to get back to you as soon as I possibly can I'll try to do videos as as, as quickly as I can and uh, I'll bring you another one a loadout on a hiking trip with this backpack this is my go-to backpack for now on I believe so so until the next time, take care and enjoy, get out and enjoy the woods.